I used to come here back in the 1980s for the chairs match at the tables. Yeah, no, for real, for real. They're all the nice wooden chairs. They're absolutely beautiful, gorgeous. And um, the pints of beer that you're getting today like that, third pints of what we used to get. They were uh, bigger and they were made out of glass. We know why they got in the glass ones, right? Right on. So that's why they're gone. I've got some old stuff. I've got some new stuff. I've just not intelligent enough to mark it on my phone and look at it, like most comedians do. So uh, I'm a kind of paper kind of fellow, right? I am. But the first thing I want to do is give a big kudos out to a uh, young Mr. Mulligan. He thought of me tonight. I can't believe he put it around the statue when he got the nice cock ring. <laughs> yeah, it's either a clitoris or a uh, durable stimulator. I'm not sure. I guess we'll find out later. And uh, thank you, uh, Adrian, for that. Hey, nice cock ring. I appreciate it. I hope it fits. <laughs> you can take that. You know, I'm hoping it fits too. I might have to let some air out of it so it's a bit bigger. I, get a, I, I don't want to get bigger ones. You do, eh? Not for me, but like, yeah, okay, sure. sure. <laughs> I, have a, I have a lot of black friends. <laughs> that means nothing. <coughs> All right, I, I actually well. wanted to start this set off with a uh, joke about my penis, but it's just way too long. Uh, uh, somebody got it, somebody got it. All right, good stuff. I noticed the other day that my wife was sitting at the kitchen table and she was choking. Now, I'm a first aider, she's a first aider, and I've got a couple of other eight things under my belt and I assessed this within a quarter of a second so I decided maybe I should back up an inch or two. <laughs> oh my god, really people come on! Back up, back up, and what? <laughs> back up an inch or two. <laughs> <laughs> All right, there we go. <laughs> the uh, it, disadvantage of being old uh, when the old guys are walking down the street, they see this really, really hot woman, and she looks at him and kind of gives him a wink. Is a pacemaker and automatically opens the garage door there. <laughs> and that's unfortunate. But most women, as they get older, they have like what they call like a bra estate. So when they take their bra out, all wrinkles get pulled out of their face. <laughs> oh, boo, eh? Yeah. <laughs> The thing I liked about Elmer way back in the day is that we did not have a town drunk. Everybody took turns. <laughs> but we did, in fact, have a town tidy. Well, that's what we used to call it, right? The town bicycle, because everybody had a ride. And uh, the same girl from, from what I understand, I don't know for sure, apparently sucked so much dick in town whenever she burped, you heard babies cry. <laughs> <laughs> and we've got one, we've lost one, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. <laughs> Poor guy. So uh, many, many years ago, I was a musician on the road. We started off with a band here in Elmer called Tumbleweed. Then we changed his name to Northern Express. And we were on the road for seven years. We played music for nine in total. I remember going to this little tiny town, it was called Lennon, Ontario, where they had a bronze plaque erected to the cherry pit spit champion of the town. Tells you a lot about the town, eh? They took them seas off and went off. Anyways, so uh, we're all playing music, yada, yada, yada. And uh, this incredible, incredible, incredibly hot, hot woman makes her way over to me. And she was wearing a t-shirt that was so tight, it, was, it, should, it should have just been body paint, to be honest with you, right? You can see the six pack hoodie t-shirt and everything else, she had nice blonde hair. She picked me up, of all things, I was not expecting that. And yes, I was single at the time. So we go up to my room, we do the hula dance, whatever you want to call it, right? And in the morning when I wake up, She's sitting on the edge of my bed, she's putting her pantyhose back on, and I'm like, no, 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 no. My baby girl, I says, come on, come on, do it for me one more time. 
I said, walk in that sexy walk and talk with that sexy action. Oh, come on, baby, do it for me one more time. So she looked at me and she smiled and she went, these are baby. <laughs> <laughs> The other night I uh, went up, took a shower, got myself all cleaned up, popped in the bed with my wife, and I said, uh, there that baby girl, I said, uh, what do you want to do with my body? Without missing the heartbeat, she said, I did. <laughs> now I'm going to go with my new notes, if you don't mind. Oh, yeah. I'm the kind of guy who does not mind admitting when he was wrong. Like the day I got married. <laughs> and I've been living with that for 30 years. <laughs> There's my wife. <laughs> Give it up for close wife! <laughs> oh, somebody can. Anyway. <laughs> She tripped. And she looks at me, she goes, brand new look, same great taste. Oh. <laughs> really? <laughs> really? Yeah. <laughs> so I, I'm a comedian. If it wasn't true, I wouldn't say it. <laughs> You're going to be okay here. And I, I hate when you put on new movies on TV, eh? It may contain adult content. Well, I get to see one where somebody's going to work, somebody's paying the bill, and somebody's cleaning up after the kids. That is adult content. Uh, maybe there's two more that I'm going to give up to someone else. I know I'm getting older, I just found my first grade cubic hair. <laughs> uh, to bloody shame, it was in my Big Mac. <laughs> yeah. Back in my day, you had to actually win at a sport to get a trophy. And uh, blowing a tranny was a dog issue. Yeah, I guess not. Why don't men go down on the ribbon first thing in the morning? Oh, have you ever tried partner grilled cheese with your tongue? <laughs> like, oh, so am I losing you guys? What's going on here? <laughs> Come on. I know there's some guys that are pretty close to my age or at least half the age out there. Ready, Adrian? <laughs> and, uh... <laughs> <laughs> I also found a great view in my bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> hey, close, wife. There you go, wife. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there was one time I was at that. Say who? Sorry. I was like, you need to glasses, but you're already out there. Yes, I do have glasses. Thank you. Thank you very much. Sorry, and, that, nice. and that's because I had a good tutor. <laughs> I didn't go on. Yeah, thank you. Uh, I lost where I was going with this. Do us a favor. Oh, he's in the washroom. And uh, there's a gentleman urinating beside me, and we started having one of those uh, awkward urinal conversations, right? You don't want to talk to a guy who's peeing beside you, especially if you don't know him. And uh, I noticed he had no arms. And he looks at me and he says, uh, how you doing, buddy? I'm like, yeah, I'm not too bad, man. How about you? He goes, yeah, I'm doing fine. He says, look at He says, can you do me a do me a solid here? I said, okay, what do you need? He said, well, you can see I have no arms. I'm like, yeah. He said, would you mind uh, putting my, uh, you know, my winky walk up back of my pants for me? I looked down at it, here's this black 
thing that's oozing pus out of it and it's got all these welts on it. I'm like, oh my sweet gentle Jesus. So I grabbed the fly in his pants and I just quickly whip it in with one finger. And I, he goes, well, thanks, man. I appreciate that. I'm like, no problem. I said, can I ask you a question? He goes, yeah. I said, what the hell is wrong with your penis? He says, I don't know, but I'm not touching it. <laughs> there we go. No, I, love, I love making people laugh. You know, that's why, that's why I started doing this. I'm retired. I, I want to come up on stage, and this is part of my bucket list. I want to come up on stage and just make people laugh so they can forget about the stresses and worries that they have in life. Even if it's just for a few seconds, you know. It's so important to me to do this. When my wife was given birth, she was dilated for full 10 centimeters. That's about 10 centimeters right there. And so I looked down at it. I'm like, you know, I, 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 I can't pass this up. <laughs> and uh, children are a gift, aren't they? Oh, they're a wonderful gift. But I still like playing with the box they came in. <laughs> and you know, I think that's pretty much going to be it for me. <laughs> uh, da, 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 da. Oh, yep. This is my uh, two last things for you. <laughs> <laughs> you can tell I was raised by a wife, eh? <laughs> two little last things for you. My wife and I have been married 30 years. That's no guff. Saw you go. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And um, we still have sex almost every night. We almost had sex Monday, we almost had sex Tuesday, we almost had sex Wednesday. And I want you to take this with you, if nothing else. Uh, I don't care who you are, I do not care what color your skin is. I don't care what you do and don't believe it. If you're big or tall, thick or thin, Vaseline will get it in. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 